Okay, and we're back with some more coffee talk, and we're just gonna get straight into it. Oh, and, yeah. Good, uh, good evening. Um, good gracious. Uh, what is wrong with you? Can't, can't you just answer like a normal customer? I I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. Huh? Okay, so I guess the novel thing must have went good. What are you talking about? Um, I know what to write for my novel. Okay, she knows what to write now. All right, that's good. That's good. Um, is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, 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 just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop. See, I told you. Like, like the environment of the coffee shop. Yeah, it's just like the feeling and and like like how and how it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just I, I, I fucking knew it. Just had a feeling. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes. What if I can't? What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a, bre a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know. Relax, I know that. Well, she yeah, she's probably just like, look, yeah, or like just hear the situations. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves would be loosely based on what I hear and see here. Yeah. How loosely based? Uh, knife walker novel versus movie level loosely based the old one uh, of course I'm talking about the old one hmm that's already very different you know um, you can't get more different than that you right I mean it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop right no you can't although you can just ban me from coming okay you're banned oh what a, what just kidding I was like you dick I <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. But she looks so bummed out too, bro. She's like, damn, I won't be able to come here anymore. Your coffee is so good. <laughs> I wonder what kind of stories we have. Oh, here we go. Hey, cop man, what's up? Okay, Georgie. That's how you say, say his name, I'm pretty sure. Good evening, y'all. Uh, good evening, officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. So, uh, seems like you're in a high, uh, high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Fulham, no need to be that formal with me. Uh, we're both on duty here, for sure. Handsome formalities. Uh, you, are as, you are as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, uh, so I need the usual. They, you will have all the ingredients today? Uh, not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea, I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Coffee with a hint of sweetness. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomodachi profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Um, anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Okay. So when you look at here, we got, we got new coffees here somewhere. Um, you can't have milk. Uh, he, wants, he, wants sweet. he wants it to be sweet, but he doesn't want milk. He doesn't want milk. Okay, so do we need to use these? Ginger and honey? Okay, maybe, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is it. Please. Oh god. Sweet healthy coffee. Right? Uh ginger honey coffee. So I'm assuming this is it. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, please! Coffee with honey for the old for the man on duty? Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you do. Oh yeah, we got it. Thank you. Okay. By the way. Um, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old man, gave, uh, the old pop here. Uh, what are you having? You still need to ask, huh? Um, you never know. Espresso, of course. Uh, the one and only espresso. Yep. So that's, that's just straight coffee, right? I'm pretty sure. Let me, let me just make sure. I, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to. Okay, just gotta, just gotta make sure though. Yeah, coffee. Good. Bam. Easy. Okay. Serve it. A starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. <laughs> I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say so. This is perfect. Hell uh, yeah. So how's everything going on? Going at the paper, Miss Freya? Uh, as usual. Awful. Damn. She's making a risk, uh, risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. Uh, a deal she regretted. Why is his face like that? His eyes, bro. 
<laughs> He's like, oh shit. Not that much. Uh, folks, seriously. Just to share the details properly, you tell him. She's secretly using her working hour to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job, at least. Not yet. Um, her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> so yeah, as Falum said, Miter and Chef and Chef or Miter and she Chef the fuck doesn't know about it yet. Chief, um, you know, but my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Not really. Technically, I might have to arrest you. Oh shit. What? Hey, you do it all the time too. Uh, those are just coffee breaks. Oh, sometimes they might take longer than um, they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel you should feel bad. <laughs> Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this may, will make you feel better or not. But if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. <laughs> I'm dead. Just don't mess with that. You like to do other things during work hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll be, uh, you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. Uh, what will it be about? A coffee shop and the story people will tell inside. You're letting her do that? Yeah. There's no softener. Yeah. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near the, their post. <laughs> I would definitely write about that, off that police officer. Um, he'll make a good character. Well, was that a compliment or you're just making fun of me? Eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. I don't think it's too bad. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? <laughs> Nothing. But let me probably worry about losing customers due to the breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll dram I'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. Stories I've heard, there will only be the inspiration for that I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on. Nope. No, no, no. <laughs> you helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one that the secretly rich beggar... Ha um, hanging around the block. What was that colored person over there? I saw that. Like those color on the person back there. I'm sure you could give me another uh, other interesting tips. I helped you more than once actually. Oh shit. Oops. <laughs> what? Right? Really? Now it's my turn to say. Come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who um, always playing his guitar. Uh, always got a rose with them. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. You did quite well, though, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave it him closure. He never complained about... Uh, he never complained that you used his story for, for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose would, uh, has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lady, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is, but she has bright green hair. <laughs> oh, come on. I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're get you're getting you're you're getting real? Oh. Well, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Damn. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Hey, yeah, cheer up, girl. Eh, sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, what, why this coffee shop? Mm, because I spent a lot of my time here, and I, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard the story, 
I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in a fictional form countless times before, but it's, uh, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are any are they regulars here? Nope. Not yet, maybe. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Uh, some folks requested request coffee, but I recommend against it. Um, I usually end up giving them tea, hot uh, chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed off, uh, pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shifts. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make that hat. I have it. <clears throat> Can't promise you that. Okay, then see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. All right. That boy gone. He gone. Off to his duty. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Go look with your, the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Ooh, you're, you're the best film. No problem. You know what I'm saying? We the barista a decade, bro. You're welcome. Um, okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. As an imagination, she's gonna be listening to conversations. <laughs> but also, like, yeah, she's thinking, like, you know. Hmm. That should be. That should do for the experiment. Ah, someone is coming. Oh shit. Okay, looks like got a vampire type woman and the person that looks like is gonna beat up your family. <laughs> like a secret agent, bro. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Uh, hi, Falun. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Uh, hmm, this is a place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but Gala, it's fine. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you ha want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Okay. Um. Warm embrace. Uh, like what's going on. Cut. Okay. I'm just I'm just looking at this stuff. All right. What do we What else we learn? Okay. Freya. Um. Whispers talked about Monday arts, journalist, short story. Whispers, Adelaide, and Myers, uh, Q, nothing. Okay. Let's make sure on these things. Alright, so we got the. So anything with ginger, so we it's, it's easily to use. Um. Ginger honey. Okay, we're just gonna get with the officer, or what we gave the officer last time. That should be fine. Ginger honey coffee. Anything with ginger in it. Yeah. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. No problem, no problem. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Uh, not sure if I if it will be to your liking though or not. Okay. I'll take whatever he's having. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No problem, no problem. What's this about? Shit, I should look at that. Okay. Here's your order. Hmm, good choice. Yeah! Yeah, we make bangers, bro. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. Um, I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in the in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop, I believe, this was a, a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister? Uh, Hyde. My name's Hyde. From what I gathered, you're in LA, right? Wait, that's a sir? Hey yo, hey yo. I'm sorry, but, but does she look like a woman? Come on. Alright. Alright, let, let me stop talking though. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I am. I used to live here decades ago though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. Uh I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. Um you two have known each other for, for a long time, I assume. You could say that. Um, yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Okay, so she, so he, he is a vampire? 
And so what is he? Wait, what? Six, 60s. Wait, so like, are they both like immortal? Probably. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, wait. Okay, so who got married? Those who got married? Or... Or is it... Or they're talking about like somebody else. Or like... Or one of them like got married to another. Shit. I should have... Fuck. Alright, whatever. The peace treaty between werewolves and uh, vampires was signed in 1865. Damn. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, we're talking about the 1860s? God damn! Wait, so it's... No, it's 2020 right now. <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, uh, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other for in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. Oh, okay. So they haven't seen each other for a long time. Damn, 20 years? That is that was a super long time. God damn. This was a this was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met? Yeah. When uh, when it was a, ba a bar, they moved. Bankrupt. Oh, such a, that's such a pity. Uh huh. Hmm. Um, you're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile? If you don't mind. Ah, oh, nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? Uh, I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You got something special here. Yeah. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, uh, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kind of. Uh, with the news about the news found virus going viral. Mm -hmm. The hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? I mean, zombies. So, I mean, fucking, they're biting people. You know, it's probably spreading faster than what it should be. Fucking World War Z ass shit. I don't know. No one is sure about that. Um, but most people who come in here are, are just... I want to use that word, but they're just paranoid. You're still going. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital. What was it called? A uh, mission officer. And yes, I'm still a uh, mission, uh, hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and law and service. They offered me a uh, Mangario position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Huh. To each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? Uh. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. They do. <laughs> Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore, they can just order through, um, through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh huh. Bloodlast gets their uh, Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital. They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals in the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just a middleman with a lot of sales of promos. You use it often. Um, or use it often? Not really. I'm trying to. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle. Remember? But I do not. I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah. How's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can conquer. Excuse me for asking. By going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Yeah, that's the saying. Like, like what, what? Like what are you? Like what? Like what's what's going on here? Like, are you eating something certain to not drink blood? Or you're just not drinking blood in general, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Okay. Synthetic blood. It'll be too complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Um, without relying on real blood. Concerning real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? Uh, more or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? Uh, it is. Oh, shit. I can export it, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the money. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Mm. Would synthetic blood taste good? Uh, if mixed with other ingredients? Oh, okay, I see. Because if I try to... Okay, 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 okay. You can try to mix it with the... Okay, because he's always experimenting because he just finished uh, one experiment before they came in. Why? You want to start selling blood-based uh, drinks? It might attract new customers. Yeah. And turn off others? Fair point. But like... I mean, it won't turn them off if you don't tell them about it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you keep it on a low. Like, you, don't, you don't have to put it on the menu. You know what I'm saying? You can just say it's like the vampires, something like that. Um, that if you want to, like, you know, a blood drink. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we got to set it up. You know what I'm saying? Secret menu. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Uh, I mean, this is a coffee shop. You know what I'm saying? We, we're, the, we're, the we're the barista of the decade, so I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. We're gonna we're gonna go nuts. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with other things. What other things? Mostly booze. 
Hmm. But I know some mix it with not so legal substances. Huh. You know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? No, I mean, didn't. Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly furry. Uh, found, found a less painful method to restrain yourself? <sighs> monthly. Okay, so that's why he has all those bandages. Okay. Not yet, but I do know um, that it's a drink. What? What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered a coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. Um, but this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be uh, the remedy. Why don't you use the furry sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, there's that, sed that sedative is too general. Each of us have our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. Bars, bars. Okay, so that wasn't the reason why I got bandages. I don't, I don't fucking know. How effective would this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. Okay, so... Alright, so that, that's, that is why he has bandages. Okay, so maybe... So if he, if he doesn't have certain drinks... Um, I guess he goes to Berserk, I think. And then, yeah. And then he starts fucking... Uh, fuck, he starts fucking shit up. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need it to... Oh, okay, he's a werewolf. Need to do it. I mean, that's why he has... Yeah, he has the beard like Wolverine. Okay, alright, I see. Kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their furry. What kind of kinky? Like, BDSM. That only happens in porn. What the hell is BS... What's BSD? Okay, you know, I'm not even gonna ask. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. Um, you don't have to feel ashamed if you'd like watching that kind of thing, you know? Uh, hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common, but normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it. It would be pretty brutal, uh, doing bondage stuff during the furry. Exactly. So, continue with your story. Uh, how far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know it involves ginger, and probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. Yeah, you better write that down. Um, you won't want him uh, wrecking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. Uh, but the next time you're sit you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. Okay. So, so we gotta remember that because I'm not sure if you're gonna write it down or not, or put it like put in like the thing. So, we have tea, ginger. So maybe we could do tea, tea, and ginger, maybe, or tea, ginger, ginger, maybe, maybe. That'll mean a lot. Um, excuse me for a moment. Huh? I'm oh, sorry, I have to go now. Um, there's an emergency at the hospital. Oh shit. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. No problem, bro. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Hey, see you around. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for coming back. You know, there, yeah. When she comes back. Or he, fucking he, my bad, fuck, shit. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, the, fucking, the nails throwing me off. The vampire nails. Uh, take care of, on your way now. Hey, are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. These two, those two guys kind of remind me of this video I saw online. Um, I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a werewolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that um, grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? Um, what video did you think I was talking about? Uh, you know. Oh, never mind. You. I was just joking. <laughs> Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. <laughs> anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. I think it, I think it's about like four or something. Okay. You know. Oh shit. If I'm wrong, that's an L. But. I think that's what you're talking about. Uh, but now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. Um, I will be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. See ya, Freya. Okay, that was that was the day. Black magic. Sweet, cool, and magically wakes you up. Interesting coffee. Ah, the moon, the moon is just, it's just gazing, gazing in my eyes, bro, I feel it shine. Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Okay, what we got here? The Evening Whispers, free of charge, despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Damn, that shit must be fire. 
Despite losing a member, Super Smiles. Super Smiles. So I guess they get the ban. They lost a member. Because they were probably like, they probably wanted to go on their own, you know what I'm saying? Or like, or they probably just died. I don't fucking know. But, um. Alright, vlogging is now part of Circuit Limb at some private high schools. Vlogging is now sick. Hmm. Like, how would they do that though? Like, okay. Um, stop workplace racial pro uh, profiling. Uh, 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 stop workplace racial profiling. The Orvish Workers Union demands. We still have brain. Make peace. Okay. So it's like. Stop, stop, stop going down. What we got going on here? Oh, what's up? Uh, welcome. Uh, yo. A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Um, okay. Honey milk. Honey milk. Honey milk. Honey milk. Honey milk. Honey fucking milk. Milk. Honey. Fucking milk. Honey fuck shit. All right. Let's go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, honey milk, honey milk, honey milk. Okay, so we just gotta make it. Fuck. Shit. Bitch. No? Okay. Honey milk, honey milk. Got it, got it, got it. Milk. Uh, it's honey, right? Okay, honey milk. Honey again? Ginger. Okay. Honey milk. I I'm, I'm assuming this is what it is. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. If it's not it, then fuck. I mean, we, we fucked up. But your honey milk is ready. Mmm. Yo, we're too good at this, bro. We're too good. We took too good. Too good. Just, I'm too good, bro. Who the shit? Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh. uh okay, so. She's just chilling. Oh, what's up, Rayo? Hey, hey, Uh, there's like a, there's like, there's like, see, like, there's a cat. <laughs> oh, a cat. Oh my god, she got, she got it with me. <laughs> Relax, it's okay. <laughs> hey, kitty cat, what are you looking for? Want some milk? Oh, oh, that's pretty, oh, that's pretty cool. Hi, Barisa. Uh, yes, I love some milk. Oh, holy shit, I don't right. <laughs> I'm dead. We like to see the ghost. She just fucking see the cat transform. No, I mean, but she got some drip. Holy shit, the fucking drip is sweating off this woman, bro. That's crazy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw Nikomi trans transforming. We rarely do that in public. Um, I guess you don't have that many Nikomi Mimi friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your uh, line form to commute, uh, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, between, uh, commuting as a cat sounds more practical um, than commuting as a human. I mean, than commuting in a, pe a bipedal form, kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have mil my milk, please? Uh, ah, I'm sorry. Uh, what kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? Nope. Milk and nothing else. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. That'd be good to do this, right? Or do we have to like? Alright, I, I guess. Alright, bro. Bam. Okay, it's nice and hot. There you go. You're welcome. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Jeez! Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? Oh, shit! 4K! <laughs> I was just, just giving her a compliment. How fuck she know? How you know she's underage, bro? Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. Yo, they try to they they catch slipping, bro. It's crazy. What's a young girl like you doing alone like in this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown up who can take care of myself. Huh. You don't like a grown up. Okay, so she is. Wait, what? What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I call too young. Well, I'm not that not like an old lady f like you for sure. Damn! Fray you got for you, you gonna let her talk to you like that? Oh hell no. Nah. That's fuck, that's fuck. I've been hearing I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. God damn! So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or me, or if you're in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly! Seriously, you never see me on a TV or social media? Oh! Okay, so she's, um. To either be an actress, model, uh, fucking. So uh, just any type of social star like that or like a star journal i don't want to sound like a snob but i don't watch mainstream media media i mean yeah she writes she writes in the books bro she writes in the books bro she, she got that literature on her 
Um, pfft, snob. Part of the broke out. Part part of the broke but woke movement. I see. You must be the broke part. Oh God damn! I don't see you ordering any drinks, bro. What the fuck? The ego on this girl, bro. She's fucking high as shit. And I was surprised you. I was surprised you not saying anything, bro. She's chilling. She's chilling. Uh, what? Too broke for a cup of coffee? Damn! Co come on. I <laughs> don't live laughing, bro. Oh god, bro. She getting roasted, bro. Dude, why they? Why they doing? Why they doing Freya like this? They do it like this every day, bro. She always getting like either teased, she get bullied, bro. Like, come on, bro. That's fucked up. She's not that great for business, no. Um. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Uh, make your order. God damn, Jesus! Is this some kind of made coffee or uh, made cafe experiment or something? So what do you like to order? The usual, espresso, espresso. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, she got her coffee. So shut your bitch ass up. Espresso is ready. Alright, hmm. Good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait, wait a minute. What do you, you... You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Floricia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated? Oh, oh, she's part of the band. Okay. So they just lost a member and they gained another one? That's okay. Huh. It started her so Oh, so she's the one that left. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm fucking tripping. Alright. Okay, she started her solo career. Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. Damn. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. No, yeah, she's chilling. Um, I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. <laughs> How can this coffee shop attract so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit to drink milk, no less. Yay! Achievement unlocked. Literally got achievement. I'm dead. That says achievement unlocked. No, no, seriously. Why are you here? To see to drink milk. Well, you know. Oh, wait, never mind. The usual young folk problems. I had a fight with my father. Oof. And so here I am. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? Yeah, seriously, like, no, like, legit. You're part of a famous pop group? I don't know, man. And this world is is, is quite... It's, it's definitely interesting. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to worry about me. Uh, I can turn into a cat. True. True. Cat's not parkour. Um, not really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad... We got into an argument. Um, he doesn't like my line of work. What? He always saw my profession... It's something negative, but I love what I'm doing. I mean, it's music. You know what I'm saying you're, you're making no bangers. What about your mother? What What are her thoughts on your career choice? Now you better guess so. She passed away a few years ago. Oh, pff, damn. Okay, so she probably liked it, but she just passed away. Sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? Um, he used to work in the showbiz uh, decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Um. Okay, so probably something bad happened to him in the showbiz, so that probably that probably just like left a mark, you know? Good evening, Fulham. Hey, what's up, Georgie? What's up? Good evening, girls I've never met before. What are you talking about? You seen Freya yesterday? Yeah, literally. What the fuck? Just kidding, Freya. <laughs> anyway, Fulham. Yes, officer. I need something for my sore throat. Uh, can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Green tea with lemon and honey. Gotcha, gotcha. Um... Lemon and honey. Bam! I got you, my boy. Don't worry. Don't worry, Georgie. You know, you know I already got you. I got your back. Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cop syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cop syrup? <laughs> Look at his face. Of course you do. Um, let's see whether this drink, uh, drink tastes as good as it smells. Come on. Come on. It's good. It's fucking good. I, I know it's good. Like, I, I just know it's good. Like, look at George's face. He, he's trying to play it off, but I know he fucking likes it. Like, even she knows. I'm pretty sure she can tell, apparently. I don't fucking know. Damn. This is great. Mm. It was so good that got a bop to the music, bro. How's your day going? Um, anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. 
Anything interesting today? Actually, uh, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me. You want to? You sure you want to hear about it? You hear it, bro? I love this. Like honestly, I love this. Like it's four people. Like one's not talking, but it's fine. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's cool to see just this many people in one screen. It's awesome. Um, yes. The scary thing I witnessed was my salary. Oof. Damn. Seriously. Like man, Rachel don't gotta worry about that shit, bro. She rich. Uh, yeah. Today is payday, and I checked the ATM during my shift. Uh, such a horrible day. Uh, other than that. Um, and the labor union protests everything is fine though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Mm. Hey. Uh, thank you for the drink and this and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Okay. Just sit there and chill on our phone. Okay. Now nah, it's just three. Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure she. Uh, that's a. Uh, I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that when you're here writing. Um, I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Um, oh yes. What are you doing here, young lady? I'm pretty late, or it's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. Um, and this place looks great, cozy. I see. They basically wanted to go to a bar, but you're underage, right? How did you know? <laughs> you can read by that old man. I have a daughter around her age. Um, it's easy to translate what they say. Um, especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all of your problems while you're gone or while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. That is exactly his job. <laughs> Relax, Brea. Don't be so uptight. Uh, yeah, Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know you're... Um, you know it yourself, uh, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course. This is the safest place around here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? Uh, this guy, bro. This fucking guy. I, I guess. Maybe. But don't look at me that way. <laughs> You're a cop, old man. Yo, they're really, they're, they're really trying to buy the thing. I like one. <laughs> I deal with crime to public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You, you should know. Okay, they're, they're, so, they're, uh, so they're just talking. So like they're probably like leaning over. Like they didn't animate that also, but they're probably like leaning over. Her. Um, you're our father herself. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Like literally, yeah, she's in the middle. Really? See Freya? Uh, she's she has good hearing. Um, that should help her protect herself. I mean, she's a cat. Anyway, Miss. Uh, Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? Um, as I told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> this is laughing at all. Ha! <laughs> why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot of with my kids. Or I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? But because when things have calmed down, I learned something about them. It's, it's just funny how she's reacting. She's like, huh? She's like, what? What? She's like, what type of logical shit is this? Oh! I'm rich and ego. It's sick. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, and they learned something about uh, me as well. As long as we don't have, we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. Um, he wasn't like this before, before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Uh -huh. Nothing. We just don't talk about it until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy, but you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, um, conflict is always the best way to know someone, even in your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me, and she also understood your father. Maybe he, maybe he and his mom. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments, but your mom acted as a mediator or a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot, but why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait, maybe because I'm the one who always ran away. 
<laughs> using my job as an excuse. I can't confirm that. Uh, yeah, I run it here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both have got to resolve your issues. Um, unresolved problems are dangerous in any relationship. I kind of understand what you're going through, Rachel. Um, I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did this happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. What the fuck? Maybe I should just run even. Uh, maybe I should run even further. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult will ever say I am adult. I'm an adult. All right. Just give yourself time to think about it, Miss Rachel, and try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Um, <clears throat> like adults, you don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. Just now. Just but now. Um, I recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need you to. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride, but you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. Um, at least some. At least knowing you're safe at home will give you some peace. That will allow you to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Yep, sure is. Bro, the dude's a goat, bro. Hey, yo, don't, don't try to get killed on, on, on duty, bro. I mean, you won't try to, but like, just don't get killed, bro. Please. Um, so where do you live, Miss Rachel? Um, in the western part of Nico Town. Oh, that's quite far. <laughs> You're still going to drive me home, right? Uh, old man? Of course I will, of course. <laughs> Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Philem, in favor. Uh, for, yeah. Take care Take care on your way home. See you around, Philem. See you, Georgie. Okay. Now it's just me and Freya. See what you gotta say. And there he went. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can say longer if you want. Nah, that's fine. I'll have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Bring me my, my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Uh, tell your boss about the publishing off offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. <laughs> Go on a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. Uh, you never know. I might end up on a chopping block. Mm. That, that literature just came out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That 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 novel came out of her a little bit. That fucking the bars. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing though. Um, this car shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. Uh, the door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. Yeah, you're riding a bike. Okay. Midnight nights. <clears throat> Midsummer night dream. Nice dream. What the fuck? Sweet and memorable like summertime blues. That actually looks good. I mean, I want to have it with the lemons, but it actually it looks good. Okay, so let's see, let's see what's on the news this time around. Friday, September twenty fifth, twenty twenty. What we got? What we got? Okay, because depending what's on the news is what we'll probably be talking about, or either, or like be talked about with a new character if there is a new character. But um, oh, the werewolf guy might come back. Um, <clears throat> hold on, fucking eyes. All right. Uh, werewolf activist, uh, activist in prison for owning illegal furry sedative. <clears throat> is that my is, is that my boy? Uh, hopefully not. Um, Orish workers union and talks over with the government over their pleas. Rap group uh, strip orchestra question over their pro pro eco terrorism lyrics. This is where I'm gonna end it. Um, so we learned we learned quite a bit um, from new characters. Um, Freya's still working on her novel. She's getting there. Uh, she might come today. Uh, probably I don't fucking know. She that's what she said, but. So we have a vampire, um, a green goblin girl, uh, uh, um, wolf, a wolverine, a cat, uh, somebody else I'm missing? With, with the cop, obviously. That's, 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 that's fucking Georgie, he's awesome. Um, but yeah, those are new characters. We got, we also got some new drinks in. Um, I don't know if we like discovered them, but I know that we have. We're, we're trying to make new drinks. We're starting to get the new ingredients. Um, some drinks or some like ingredients go out, but they come back, you know, later on. Uh, that's just, I guess that's how it works. 
But I mean, it's very realistic, and I, and I love that. I love, and I love how, I love how you got four people sit on a table and just like they could just go back and forth. Like I said, because I love, like I, I don't know at that moment when there was four people, like even though all, all four of them weren't talking, it was just cool to see four people on a screen, and just just like you know just be there. But um, yeah, see ya.